One of the best reasons to live in Calgary is how close we live to the mountains. After our trip to Montana, Joe and I decided we would try and do some sunset hikes this summer, and for this one we chose Tent Ridge. Tent Ridge is a fairly popular hike in the Kananaskis area, and it's one that neither Joe and I had actually ever done before. As we drove out, even though the weather forecast said it was going to be nice and sunny, the clouds started rolling in and the temperatures dropped. But we knew we couldn't have driven all that way for nothing, so we decided to hike anyways in hopes that we'd still get a good sunset. The initial part of the hike was pretty easy and enjoyable with wildflowers all along the way until we reached this open meadow where we got a good view of the ridge that we're about to hike. This is where we ended up taking a quick break and we stopped to load some film before heading up the ridge. As we went up, we gained elevation as quickly as the wind picked up. We got to this little scramble section, which was fairly easy, but felt a lot more difficult than it actually was. And I think this was just because of the wind, the gust would blow so hard that it would put you off balance and it would make you feel like you would just tumble down the side of the mountain. It wasn't super difficult, but it was the most difficult part of this hike, and once we passed that section, it was pretty easy going for the rest of the way. Since we gained elevation so quickly, we ended up getting some pretty incredible views of Spray Lakes already. As we continued on our hike, the wind just kept getting worse and worse, and we ended up making it to this little weather station where we tried to shelter ourselves from the wind and just get a little bit of a break. Our ears definitely needed it, and we needed some food to fuel up as well. At this point, we were about halfway through the hike and there was no signs of the wind dying down or the clouds clearing up. We did manage to get some really nice sun rays through the clouds at some point and it looked really nice right over top of the lake.
Being halfway through the hike is what I like to call the point of no return, so we ended up just continuing our hike instead of turning back the way we came. So we came from this meadow down here, somewhere around there, and cut in through the trees. all the way up this ridge to there and then back down now we're heading back up a little bit and finish the ridge on that side as we continued on the ridge the wind gusts continued to get worse and it was honestly terrible we just knew we had to get down i still shot a few photos even though most of the view is pretty much the same during the whole hike. You do get really nice panoramic views, but the general view of the lake is pretty much the same as you go around. Aside from getting back to the car, the most relieving part of this hike was getting back down to treeline where we were fully sheltered from the wind. We could actually stop and enjoy the peace and quiet, hear the birds chirp, and take in the blue hour. At the end, I was feeling a little bit disappointed in this hike because we were looking for a good sunset. However, we got nothing but cloud cover and the most windy conditions that I've ever hiked in. I am super happy with the photos that I did end up taking on this hike. There were some pretty incredible views and although we didn't get a good sunset, I'm just grateful that we live so close to this area that we can make another trip out some other time. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.